Now in high definition, Mount Pleasant Zone, New Central 34 at 5. Good evening, I'm Joe Gebhardt. And I'm Ashley Raymond. In our top story tonight, police were called to an apartment on South Main Street early Saturday morning when officers arrived. They found 20-year-old Tyrone Stanley suffocating from a stabbing wound. He was rushed to McLaren Central Michigan Hospital where he died. Police took a 25-year-old into custody following the incident. Curtis Leachman was arraigned this morning. He is charged with homicide and witness intimidation after reportedly telling witnesses that he could kill them if they said anything. This started in an upstairs apartment above the downtown businesses. Uh, everything indicates that there had been some type of argument or altercation inside one of the apartments. This then carried over to the outside. And at some point during the altercation, Mr. Leachman had acquired a knife. And uh, when the two began fighting, he stabbed Mr. Stanley. Leachman is being held on a $1 million bond. All six numbers in Saturday night's Powerball drawing went unpicked, meaning the jackpot for Wednesday's drawing will be a new record. The jackpot is already sitting at $425 million for Wednesday, but that will likely grow just a bit as more people line up to buy tickets. Wondering what your odds of winning are? Well, you have a 1 in a 175 million chance of winning big. The winning ticket of last, the last jackpot was sold in Lapeer County, giving the winner $300 million. If you're ready to put your Christmas tree up and start decorating, Michigan State officials are encouraging you to purchase a tree from one of Michigan's 700 Christmas tree growers. Thinking of sending a loved one a holiday plant? Michigan has 54 poinsettia growers. The Department of Agriculture and Rural Development notes that Michigan ranked third nationally in Christmas tree production and seventh in U.S. poinsettia production. Michigan Christmas tree growers harvest approximately 3 million trees annually. Poinsettia Growers produce 2.3 million plants in preparation for the holiday season. Thanksgiving is over, snow is starting to fall. It's a clear sign that the holiday season is kicking off. The Capitol Christmas tree arrived in Washington this morning. Large crowds gathered along with Santa and Mrs. Claus, who were all on the hand welcome to the tree. The 65 foot tall spruce came all the way from the White House from the White River National Forest in Colorado. Once the tree is secured in the ground, it is expected to be decorated with nearly 5,000 ornaments. The decorations were handmade to reflect this year's theme of the celebrating our great outdoors. All right, well, that's all the news for tonight. For Chris Michael and all of us here at New Central 34, I'm Joe Gebhardt. And I'm Ashley Raymond. If you want to find out more about these stories, go to our website at newcentral34.com. And don't forget to turn your radio into more Rock Radio 91.5 and Mountain 101 for your latest news updates. Have a great night.